Uh, oh yeah, welcome to the next uh, Legend of Heroes Trails to Asher uh, episode <laughs> uh, stream thing. Let's just keep going. Uh, load game. Also, I was thinking... I was thinking that the other day that I might have made a mistake in the first chapter and I, I was just worried about it. Yeah, I fucked this up. <laughs> I already fucked this up. So if you are playing this game, don't forget to fucking scan Ernest. You will never have another chance. I scanned the first form and I forgot to scan the second one. Honestly, we could do this. Well, no, I, I could do this off screen, but I should have done it before the next stream. So I guess we already made the same mistake that I made in the previous playthrough, where I didn't scan uh, the f the first fight with freaking what's his name, uh, Wasi's uh, rival in the gangs. I forget his name. I'm sorry. Walt Walter, something like that. That's upsetting. And it's okay. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I feel like uh, item, sorry, uh, combat notebooks uh, completion is one of the least important things in the game. You only care about it if you're actually going full 100% for like all trophies. I usually don't go that far. Uh, anyway, I think last time what we had just done was finish the, uh, the lector side quest, the one that gave us our recipe uh, book. We found most stuff that's hidden inside the city. Now we're just going to continue with the tutorial quest for the Orbans. So we're going to talk to Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Well, there you are, Lloyd. And you brought some fresh faces with you, I see. Yeah, these are the two newest members of the SSS. Nice to meet you. I'm Noel Seeker. Was the hemisphere? Place your spine. Incidentally, I hear you and Lloyd have known each other since you were little. I'd love to hear what he was like in his early days, if you don't mind my asking. <laughs> oh, I, you bet I don't. I've got a story or two about him that it shocked the pants off of you, believe me. The pants specifically, huh? I never should have introdu introduced you two. If you're done plotting my future embarrassment, could we get back to business now? You were going to show us how to use our new Enigma 2 orphans, right? Oh, yeah, sorry, slipped my mind for a sec. Ahem, let's begin. As I'm sure you all know, you're now using a brand new model of Battle Orbment, the Enigma 2. It's a direct upgrade from your previous Enigmas, manufactured courtesy of the Epstein Foundation. The biggest difference it has from the old models is the center slot. The quartz that goes there is referred to as a Master Quartz. They're the ones with the patterns engraved on them, right? Exactly, you can't miss them. A Master Quartz differs from a regular quartz in that it has the potential to develop and grow so they can level up. By defeating enemies while it's set in your Enigma 2, it'll gain experience and become more powerful over time. This is something that I, I wasn't super huge into, because they keep using this system in the later games, and what it basically does is that it makes it so that you level one up to full, and then you don't want to use any others. Like, okay, maybe you want to, like, or otherwise it makes you want to, like, immediately switch to one you've never used so you can keep piling on experience. So you never use the quartz at its best potential. Uh, that's what it always does to me when I, when I get these kind of, this kind of equipment that grows and can be switched between characters. And it's also limited, so you kind of get stuff out of leveling all of them. <laughs> wow, it sounds almost supernatural. Yes, it's just as though the Master Quartz itself is actually alive. So, I assume we're in for a bit of a lecture on its underlying principles or something. Nah, sorry to disappoint, but I'm no researcher. I just know the basics of how it works. Maybe grow wasn't the right word, though. You can think of it more like you'd, you're drawing out the hidden power inside the Quartz. Though that doesn't mean that every character has to level it up separately. Uh, anyway, I can at least explain the essentials of using your Enigma 2s. You can just level it up once. Not so much the theory, but the real-life practical know-how. Before we get to that, though, here, these are for you. Ellie received Pixie, whilst you received Crowl. So this is the Master Quartz. It certainly feels different from a regular Quartz. I guess I hadn't even realized that Wasi and uh, Ellie didn't have any yet. Are you sure you don't want us to pay for these, though? 
don't worry about it. The CPD provided them to me for your training specifically. By the way, Master Quartz can't be synthesized at normal workshops, and they can't be mass-produced either. The few we have, sorry, the few we do have, were shipped directly from the foundation. Basically, you're only able to sell one Master Quartz of each type to handle yours with. Okay, so handle yours with care. I see. So they're pretty rare then. Do you have any tips for us before we use them in the field, Wendy? Uh, sure. First, could you all equip your quartz for me? Doesn't matter who uses which, just let me know once everyone's set. Oh, and while Master Quartz do have elemental types, their slots have no restrictions. In other words, anyone can use any Master Quartz. I see, that's very convenient. What are we waiting for then? Let's get them equipped. Okay, so as they said, we're gonna give Pixie to Ellie. Uh, this is just raises Arts Attack. Actually, let me check something. Yeah, and it also comes with specific element affinity already, so it'll probably give you a couple spells just from equipping it. Firebolt and Sparkle in this case. Speaking of stuff, can I just take this one off and give it to Ollie? If she's gonna be casting arts, I might as well make it cheaper. And Crow for Wasi. He just becomes fast. Should I give him mute? I feel like that might... Oh, shame. I feel like that might even be more useful on... <laughs> uh, on Noelle, but I guess I already gave her uh, poison. Alrighty, you've, got all, you've all got a Master Quartz equipped now. Good work. What's next, Wendy? Nothing big, just go kill stuff. I know you and Noel already have some experience, Lloyd, but humor me anyway. Worst case, you get some extra practice in. That sounds fair enough. Do you want us to focus on any particular location or a specific number of battles? Not really. I'll leave the who, what, and where of things up to you. Just win one fight without turning tail and running away. That'll be enough. I think we can manage that. Well, Lloyd, any ideas on where we should go? Uh, one of our support requests involved clearing out some monsters in Mesa and Imelda, didn't it? We could kill two birds with one stone that way, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, before I forget, I've got one more quartz to, to give you. Mind one. What's this for? Just another little gift from the CPD headquarters. If you set it in a normal slot, you'll be able to use a brand new art for the Enigma too. Analyze. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle, as they say. Try it out in combat, and you'll see what I mean. Oh, I think uh, Dudley had it in the previous one, and I just confused it for a craft, and I wasn't able to find it. I actually just like using Tio to do that. Without Tio around, we'll need to rely on arts and items to analyze enemies in the meantime. Exactly. So yeah, Wendy can also sell uh, Quartz. You, you make them using Sepith. Though I think you can also just buy the Master Quartz. She'll probably have a few of them. So, Sepith is just those little things that pop up at the end of a fight. They're like item drops. Uh, exchange. Warpment. Okay, maybe she can't sell you Master Quartz, or I'm looking at it in the wrong place. Hmm. Oh, well. I really feel the need to actually buy any, but let's uh, open up some slots. I probably should have opened some le less expensive ones. Oh, I think I actually upgraded it. That was a mistake, I'm sorry. Well, it's fine. We'll probably get enough to upgrade everyone by the end of the game. But for the time being, Ellie's is the most important one. Uh, let's give her mind and put evade on the win slot. Okay, so they told us to go to uh, Mesa and Imelda. We already got the key from her last time. From Imelda last time. So we can just go in and start killing stuff. Okay, now let's make sure we see all the enemies. Even if it serves no purpose anymore. We can still get a lot of rewards from Rebecca. Even if we're not going to get every single enemy in the game.
Sorry, sometimes the enemies don't actually reset, particularly in uh, environments like this. I'm trying to find the switch, the switch character button. There you go. Ambushes are always so much nicer in this game than actually shooting the enemy. Uh, okay, there's Analyze. Okay, so we're done with the main quest. I don't know if you have to return to uh, Wendy. Let's see. Yeah, report back to Wendy. We'll do that after we... Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll do that after we clear up everything in the manor. In the, in the mansion. Making it a bit hard to actually... Sorry, I was going to say, maybe a little hard to actually just, uh... <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no. Man, once he does some damage on those crits. Some Sepeth. The, tre the treasure chest activates its power to stop time. Fortunately, it can't do anything either, so nothing happens while I read this text. <laughs> okay. That's cute. Uh, there wasn't anything here right now. Nothing at all. So also, this is just a redo of a mission you do in the first game. I guess it's nice to have it at the very beginning as a little tutorial. Oh, shoot. It... <laughs> I swear, uh, Ellie just saves my life in these moments by just having the gun. She's also pretty fast when it comes to shooting stuff compared to uh, Noelle. Noelle like, takes a second to actually shoot. And it's just a, a weird Varage. Ellie's just like one shot. One shot, one kill. Damn it. <laughs> a cat-like monster that stuns enemies with an electromagnetic organ. Sorry, an electrogenic organ in its mouth. You know, if they made it yellow, I would have assumed it was a Pikachu reference. <laughs> Obtained Axel Shoes. Wow, a sequel to Trails in the Chest? I can't believe they got a chest-selling author to work on this game. A chest-selling author. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm missing the pun there. S someone explain it to me, please. Okay. Pair of spring support entry-level tennis shoes. Uh, who should we give it to? It's an upgrade to everyone, right? Sure is. Let's give it to Noelle since she... <laughs> Uh, I want her doing more damage with regular attacks, so she might as well have more turns, have better speed. Ah! Oh, I want your chest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, give me a second while I try to decide how I want to deal with that. Ideally, it would be convenient to save up some CP so I can just explode the enemies in it. Right, let's save in front of it. Okay, we did scan everything, every kind of monster here, right? Yeah. Uh, what kind of spells do I have? I guess nothing that hits AoEs right now. Okay, maybe skills. Let's see. Yeah, Ellie did get some the previous game, and you are starting at level 50. 
you know, there's one change that they they made to her skills. Do you remember the Holy Bullet skill from last game? It recovers, yeah, it recovers HP and CP in an area. It used to also recover her own CP, and it doesn't anymore. And it's such a shame because it's a very expensive skill. <laughs> it is 60 CP. It used to, if you used it on her, like on a group, it meant that it cost like 40. Or I think it actually costed 40 normally in the previous game, so it was just 20. So they realized how actually good it was, and they just <laughs> nerfed it super hard so she could spam it less. Uh, I mean, it's, st it's still a good heal for other for other characters, but like, damn. We do have the upgraded Star Blast, let's just use it. Damn. Octagon! <laughs> I guess it's for killing 8 enemies in a single move. Obtain move 1, speaking of moves. Who should get this? I guess probably Wasi or Lloyd, since they are our melee fighters at the moment. Let's go to Wasi. And Lloyd can get another Water Quartz. I forgot about Mute. Yeah, this way he can do more magic, more healing magic. Mm. Oh, I forgot to talk to the chest, didn't I? Let's do it right after this fight. Let me go back. Someone keeps stealing the wheels off the first division's patrol cars. They're they're working tirelessly to bring them to justice. T tirelessly as in tires, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually kind of cute. I like it. I'm honestly desperately trying to remember if these were included in the original game if they were added by, by the translators. An advertisement is pasted on to the bottom of the side of the lid. You'd have to be blind to not see all mess on Imelda has to offer. For availabilities, contact Madame Imelda at Imelda's antique shop. That seems like something she would just leave there. Uh, okay. Going up. Oh wait, no. Did I kill... Yeah, I just killed the last monster here. Right, right, right. Oh, also a recipe here. Right, I left this one for last because it was inside the dungeon. <laughs> Light burger. Nothing over here. Okay, and that's a boss. <laughs> no, we're not allowed to ambush it. Oh, well. So I think what I just want to do is save until I can kill all of them. Alternatively, I do have a sleep grenade. Can't hit any of the enemies that are... Well, I can hit a single enemy for the next turn, but they're not going to get close enough anyway. Let's just get more CP. Oh, I can just kill everything. Let's see. Impede, Broadaxe, Phantom Rush, reduces speed. Oh, I forgot. We can actually analyze this. <laughs> Let's not go messing that up more than usual. Okay, boss of the Mosquito Horde sprays acidic bodily fluids to melt anything in its way. And it's only weak to that uh, debuffs. Have I used Wasi's, uh, whatever this is called? <laughs> Forgot. I don't remember if it can call allies. Oh, it sure can. <laughs> Never mind.
What was that? Uh, let's see. It can't be delayed anyway. We'll just shoot it. We got defense quartz too. Uh, exterminated monster in Mesonimelda. Obtain craft book strike. Oh, now that I think about it, we weren't required to clear everything in there, right? Just the, just the mosquito. A craft book. Seems a little before our time, mildly speaking. Oh look, there's an attack in here that's designed to be used by two people in sync. Don't you think Lloyd and Wasi might be able to recreate this? Hey, you just may be right about that. Want to give it a shot, Wasi? It'll be my pleasure. So yeah, I, these were attacks that you got towards the end of the previous game, but since you're carrying over uh, most of the attacks from the previous game, you need to get them for the new party members early on as well. Anyway, that's uh, the mess on Imelda quest. Let's report back to Wendy and to uh, Imelda. Hmm, okay. Maybe maybe you don't need to report. Yeah, I guess you just go back to your to the terminal and report it there. Uh but we do have to talk to Wendy about it. Welcome back, guys. I take it you completed the combat test. So what do you think? Uh how do you like your new master quartz? I was very pleasantly surprised, actually. Same here, who knew so much power could be harnessed from a single quartz? Frankly, whatever expectations I had were blown away. And guess what? Power those babies up to their max level and you unlock something special for your trouble. But I'll let you find out what that is for yourself and that's how they bait you into trying to do it for every single one. And then whenever you unlock one, just drop it and never use it again. Huh. You mean these things have even more in store for us? That's what happens when there are more quartz than party members. <laughs> uh, yeah, wraps it up. I'll send my report to the CBD headquarters right away. You guys have any other questions? I'm good. Oh, a new quartz. Okay. You just call it a welcome back gift. Eagle Eye. Okay, I think in the last game I just gave all of these to Ellie. <laughs> oh, new service of the next counter over. So is that where we buy the new Master Quartz? Yeah, we're Wendy's friends. Oh, we just got new covers. In the previous game, buying all of them actually gave you affection points for characters, but I don't think... Oh, look, you actually get the ones from the previous game. Uh, I think you may already have them, in fact. Let's see. Yeah, I think these special cases were... Uh, you bought them in the previous game. Because I think you started with the basic uh, CPD ones. And you can get more. Howling Wolf, Spring uh, Bird. I don't, I don't remember if in this game this affects spawn points. I'm going to ignore them for now. But they do have Master Quartz. Oh, you just buy them like this. I think you have an, you get an achievement for buying all of them. Uh, for getting all of them, actually. So... Let's get them while we can. Killing enemies recovers HP? Sure. That one's just a thousand Mira, so might as well. Let me check something real quick. Yeah, we have money. I think what I usually, what I also did in my previous playthrough was I gave this one to Tio when we got her. Killing enemies restores EP, that's really good for her. And honestly, Mirage is pretty nice for AoEs, if I recall correctly. Though, if I remember correctly, uh, Space Quartz also had 
a good AoE that just pulls everything into one spot. But I feel like those courts aren't exactly built for arts attacking in the first place most of the time. ええ、もちろん。西クロスベル街道の途中から<笑> やっぱり課長だったみたいね。何か気になることを言ってたみたいですけど。ああ。サムティンスブルーイング。状況の変化を感じているらしい。ヘイユやレクター隊員のことも報告した方が良さそうだな。そうね。で、そろそろ警察学
included. Right, we experienced that in person just now. I've heard about this being an issue. They've also been a lot of complaints about them blaring their car horn without reason. It seems they're intent on being a nuisance. Whoever they are, they sure know how to get under everyone's skin. Right, as you can imagine, this sucks and we want it gone. Therefore, I'm requesting your help. Are you up to the task? <laughs> Start your engines. Of course, we'll do anything we can lend we can to lend our assistance. I mean, how can I say no? You've really revved my engines. Uh, thanks, Lloyd. This is a huge help. The fast and the injurious started. <laughs> Ahem, let me begin by telling you about the perpetrators in question. We aren't dealing with one driver, but rather a group of three young men from Kalvar, which sounds familiar. There have been sightings of them all over the city recently. They start by the park in the harbor district before hitting roads all over the state. It seems they've recently added the main mountain path to their driving route as well. They're driving recklessly on the highways too? If something happened, they could end up impacting bus services. You're right, but that gives me an idea. If you cut off their access to the highways, it'll provide you with an opportunity to catch them. That's a good point. Then if you use your patrol cars, you could have them surrounded no problem. Unfortunately, I don't think that's an option. If we don't handle this carefully, they could break through our formation out of desperation. If it came to that, it could lead to a major traffic accident. That's the last thing we want. I see what you mean. And in that situation, the police would definitely be the ones who are held responsible. Exactly, that's why I requested your help. It would be better if you were responsible. <laughs> uh, your experience with VSS could give us a creative, if unconventional, solution. We need to think outside of the box to devise a plan that'll bring a car to a halt without endangering the town's fault. So... Well, that means that she'll ask us a couple questions, and depending on the answer, we get more points once the mission ends. The way I see it, there are two essential components we need to consider here. First, an actual method of stopping that runaway car. And second, a location where it can be executed without putting any of the citizens in danger. I agree. If either of those are flawed, not only will we fail to capture them, but we may do more harm than good. In that case, let's start by pinning down our approach. I can think of a few ways to start. Once that won't lead to a major accident, I hope. That's a real obstacle here, not just the car itself. We need to drum up a plan that can achieve that. Does anything come to mind? Hmm, let's see. So, the correct choice is... What is a safe method to stop the reckless car? Lure them into a dead end. Because if you cut them off with patrol, with patrol cars, they may just try to bulldoze through. And if you set a trap on the road, they may just crash somewhere else. What if we lure them into a dead end? They wouldn't be able to speed their way out of that. There would be no other choice but to stop. I see. Yeah, that could work. It's about as safe as we can swing it too. Perhaps, but that leads us to our second challenge, the location. I can't think of anywhere in the city that would be suitable. And we obviously can't use the new city hall sorry, the new city hall site or the IBC building. You're right, I hadn't thought that far ahead. I guess it wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh, don't be so unimaginative and imaginative. If there aren't any dead ends, why don't we just make one ourselves? We could set up a barricade of those sandbags they have at construction sites. Oh, that's a great idea. If we use those, we can stop them wherever we want. Pretty sharp thinking, was he? Huh, <laughs> you're too kind. So then, the final question is where to set all of this up. Does the Metropolitan Division have the car's usual route fully mapped? Of course, we had to for everyone's safety. The car's been making regular laps around the city. From here, in the Entertainment District, they head to the Administrative District. They then, sorry, then they go to the Harbor District, then East Street, Central Square, and the back alley in that order. After that, it's rinse and repeat. In that case, we should be able to lure them into a dead end in any of those six areas. What we want is a place with low foot traffic. Sorry, it's somewhere with low foot traffic. Somewhere we can set the trap with minimal risk of involving the public. Does the car's route pass through any part of town that would fit those requirements? Let's see. So we got to choose Entertainment District, Administrative District, Harbor District, East Street, Central Square, or Back Alley. Uh, I'm kind of forgetting where they actually went, but the answer is Administrative District. Every other place is actually just too chock full of people, chock full of people most of the time. 
and the CPD is actually based on the administrative district in the first place, so that'll be helpful. I think the only place that matches our criteria is the administrative district. The administrative district, huh? That's where the civic center, library, and CPD headquarters all are. True, but that district does have a smaller amount of foot traffic than most. Yeah, and there's enough open space so that even if an accident does occur, damages should be kept to a minimum. It doesn't hurt that headquarters is nearby either. I think it's the perfect spot. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely going to work. I knew I could count on the SSS. You guys drew up that plan like it was nothing. Glad we could help. Okay, so we need several patrol cars. Leave that part of me. I'll contact everyone in my division. Then we'll begin the operation immediately. I'll leave the construction of the, barric of the barricade to you guys. No problem, we'll get right on it. Ha, <laughs> and so the plot, si the plot thickens. Since we're doing this, we might as well sure we do it right. Theme of hijinks too. That car looks kind of like a Hot Wheels car that I used to own as a kid. But hey, it wouldn't be half as easy if you didn't get us such a high-spec ride. What did you expect? It's the Verne's company's latest. By the way, didn't you always, didn't you almost run over some old part on the highway, Reggie? That was so funny, ha ha ha. I swore it out of the way, didn't I? But did you see the look on his face when he thought we were gonna hit him? God, they suck. Yeah, you know, people look afraid when you're about to kill them. Well, we're gonna be here a while. A while. Might as well enjoy ourselves, right? Crossbow City is our playground now. That one guy has kind of a unique uh, uh, design, I guess. Like the one to the right is like a generic fisherman character. I guess the one to the bottom is kind of unique as well. A little bit generic as well, but there isn't like a specific character archetype that's for him. And I have no idea who the fuck Yuri looks like. He looks the most unique out of all of them. Oh crap, it's the fuss! Punch it, Reggie! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll leave those pics in the dirt where they belong. Oh no, they're actually speeding now. <laughs> Ah, what's this? An ambush? Hmm, they should know better. Can you shake them, Reggie? Obviously, they don't stand a chance. <laughs> Only one way open. Shut your snouts, you pigs! Shake him off, Reggie. No problemo. What? The hell? This wasn't here the last time we came by. It was a trap. It's a trap. There you go. Get on. Check and mate. Only one thing left to do. We have you surrounded. Put your hands up. Uh, I guess the jig is up. Okay, okay, we surrender. Would you look at that? You incompetent coppers actually got something done for once. So this is actually introducing us, or rather reintroducing us to one of the big problems in Crossbow City as a... Uh, non-independent state I suppose I would say it it's not exactly a vassal but you'll see do you even realize how much trouble you've caused how many lives you put in danger yeah yeah don't get your skirt in a twist keep blowing your top and you'll wind up getting crow's feet old lady old okay that does it three servings of disorderly conduct coming right up calm down officer Kate Stake us in already. Not that it'll make a difference. You can't touch us in any way that matters. 
What? Let's take them to headquarters for now, Kate. We wouldn't want them to leave the street block for much longer either. Ah, uh, right. Okay, SSS. You help me drag these punks over to headquarters. Franz, you're tasked with getting their car out of the way. Yes, ma'am. Now I'll be taking an official statement. All you have to do is answer my questions. S to start with, what are your names? Hugh A... Hugh Jazz. Okay. Seymour Butts. Giggle Snicker. Who says we have to tell you? Easy now, France. Don't get in a tissy. A typical commoner. They're getting off with just a fine? Unfortunately so. Our state laws do provide for baseline traffic regulations, of course. But since they're Calvardians, we can't just throw them we can't just throw the book at them. We'll give them a fine and a stern warning today, but they'll probably be released immediately after. I feared as much. Oh, you knew it would end like this? Something similar happened once before. During the anniversary festival, we had a case involving a counterfeit dealer. Her sentence consists consisted of no more than a reprimand and a one month expulsion from the state. Oh, I remember that. Ever since Uncle Dieter uh, became the new mayor, there have been more and more motions to revise the state legislation. But the fact remains that there are still many holes in the legal code that we're hopeless to do anything. We're helpless to do anything about. The inability of Crossbell and Law to take a firm stance on punishing foreigners has been one of its fatal flaws for many years. Well, that's just great. I guess this was all a waste of time, sweat, and tears then. No, it wasn't. Sure, this has happened many times before, but that doesn't mean it was all in vain. I would say this was well worth the effort. At the very least, the streets are safer now, if only for today. The way I see it, this is just one of the many barriers that will stand in our way. But that's exactly why I think it's important that we never stop climbing. You're right. This is the kind of thing we can overcome as long as we don't give up. So Lloyd has like a catchphrase about climbing barriers. It's kind of okay in the previous game. In this one, he goes all out on it. It might not be yet, but there's a point in the game where he just like starts bringing out well. We'll break those walls every five minutes. We are just about to put a nice button on this too. Maybe we did get a bit worked out. Anyway, can you handle things from here, Kate? Yes, of course. You were a lot of help today, SSS. If something like this comes up again, you'll be the ones I turn to. We'll be looking forward to it. The Fast and the Injurious completed. Now, just to make sure I actually did that properly, let me save that. Let me save and uh, go back to the SSS building so we can report it. Now, if we did it properly, let me just check how many points we're expected to get from it. It should be 5 DP total. So, report to HQ. Okay, there's the Fast and the Injurious. Two extra points. There we go. Also, yeah, when we get promoted, we do get stuff. Oh, actually, I wasn't checking specifically what we got, so I'm not sure. Oh, Medal of Order. An award in recognition of a detective's great achievements. So I'm going to give this to... Noel again. I just want her to keep shooting stuff. Uh, now... Let's see, let me save the game, since we did get what we wanted. Okay, uh, what we want to do is go back to Western Street. And you may be thinking, uh, wait guys, oh, sorry, wait Andres, wait Lasso, isn't there one more qu side quest you haven't done? We can do this in the way to the next quest. In fact, we might find a little surprise on the way before we actually get to uh, find that monster. Sateto. Mina? 
どうする警察学校まで行くとしたら徒歩かバスになるけどそうね私はどちらでもいいわ最近歩いてなかったからちょっと体を動かしたいしそれに確か西クロスベル街道に手配魔獣が出ていましたよねだったらついでですし歩いた方がいいかもしれませんおいおい本気かいさすがに徒歩なんてだるすぎる気がするけどもういい若者がそんなことじゃ情けないよ普段夜遊びばかりしてるんだからこういう時に体を動かさないと体育会系のノリはあまり趣味じゃないんだけどなまいっか疲れたら優しいリーダーにおぶってもらえばいいんだしおぶらないからハウコーそれじゃあ徒歩で出発することにしましょうか手配魔獣が出るかもしれないから気をつけないとね了解しましたオーケー、そう、レッツファイトのニューモンスターズ in this area、ピックアップ、uh, スタッフ from chests、and try to do the side quest in the way。You may be asking what happened to the SSS's leftover Sepith in Trails from Zero。What do you think? Sorry, what? You think you can put Kia through college on a CPD salary? So I guess we just sold it all. Oh. <laughs> Had some trouble actually getting to that monster. There we go. There's one. There's also that white variant. We could level up if we just fight a couple more monsters. I'm thinking I will do that. I, I, I just want to get like a, an ambush, but everything is seeing me before I can actually do it. There you go. Okay, let's just move closer. Have Ellie use Analyze. Okay, there we go. Weird. It only has a delay、uh, immunity and nothing else. I wish I had Tio with me. She could just. She could just immediately analyze them. The steel beetle secretes an oil from its joints to move smoothly. Metal beetle, okay. Is it a robot then? <laughs> What? I knew I wouldn't be able to read it with monsters around. We'll just kill it. Screw it. Might as well just level up. Silly Shirley. Fans said they wanted chest massages, not chest massages. Sorry, chest messages, not chest massages. Did she even say her name? She, they're, they're referring to the lady that groped Ellie last time around. The lady that made Ellie lose her innocence. I don't, I don't think they had named her yet. That dog is freaking out. <laughs> okay. Uh, highly patrol for a wolf. Okay. So we got a monster chest over there. Hmm. Let's save for now. 
We may be able to just take care of it with uh, another craft. So yeah, another... Oh? I was thinking another combo craft. It looks like we can test out the one that Lloyd and Wasi just got. There we go. Now with numbers much diminished, we should be able to just take care of all of them by attacking normally. Obtained EP1. You know, maybe the real treasure was the treasure inside of me all along. Seriously, give it back. Never. It's mine now. We have a few... <laughs> Displace enemies on minimap, affects whole party. I think in the previous game you needed to put this on the leader, which kind of sucked. Uh, but for now, let's, let's just give it to Noel since we don't have uh, any other open slots. We'll start opening them soon, don't worry. That's the same color of monster as before, right? Damn. EP charge. 3 out of 61. I don't know what that is. Is that like something left over from the, the translation log? He rubbed his temple to ease his growing headache. Not that doing so eased it even a little. But old habits were dogged to perform as they would. Again and again, he grumbled to himself, what do I do? Or maybe it is. I wonder if there's like a story among the chests that I have to actually piece together. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Steel wrist. Now if the monsters could go away so I could read that. Oh no, now I aggroed all of them. Come on, just, just turn back, please. One of them went right back to the chest, motherfucker. You know, your human houses are kind of like really big chests. I bet you'd hate it if some giant tore off your roof and grabbed all your stuff, hmm? Does that mean that there are little chest gnomes that are living in there when I take their stuff? Is that what the, that is implying? It's not the chest talking? It's a little treasure gnome living inside it? I can't. Okay. Okay, got some new monster varieties over here. I think these guys explode when you kill them. Let me just let Ellie do her thing first. Yeah, self-destruct when dying. It's not a lot of damage anyway, at least not in this, in this difficulty. Hmm. I think other characters, like Randy, when you get him, can actually just stun stuff at lower levels by just hitting them in the face. Not Ellie, though. Let's see. This flashy flightless bird uses its axe-shaped beak to cleave prey to, to pieces. That's cool. Now, see, I feel like monster designs were never the biggest draw of this series. Uh, at least they, they were kind of nice in this... Uh, I was going to say, they're, they're kind of nice in this sort of medium in, in this art style like they're kind of cute when they moved into proper 3d and the models still look kind of the same I, i'm not a huge fan of them <laughs> hmm. 
We got another red-haired person coming out. Okay, so I want all of you to pay attention to what's on screen right now. <laughs> now, if you answer this correctly, you get extra mission points. So, did you count? Did you see the gorilla standing in the background? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so I got the questions. How many? Now, because I'm cheating, I know the right answer. Uh, if you answer... 52. You get three extra points at the end of the mission. ま、たまですよ。まさか当たるなんて。せいぜい目は鍛えておけ。万全と眺めるな。状況そのものを俯瞰しろ。その上でそこにある要素を瞬間的に掴み取っておく。え。それが戦場で生き残るコツってやつだ